Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Atta. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the method reference in Java 8. In the previous video, we have discussed about the static and default method introduced in Java 8 in very detail. In this video, we are going to discuss about the method reference in detail. So, first of all, we are going to discuss what is method reference and what are the different type of method reference introduced in Java 8 and then practically we will see how we can use them in our coding. So let's get started for that and let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the method reference first. So what is method reference? In Java 8, method reference provides a concise way to refer to a method without executing them. So it is, it is a way to access a method in a very concise way. They are a shorthand notation for lambda expression to invoke methods. So you can see at the place of lambda expression you can use the method reference to invoke the method. Okay, so how we are using the lambda expression to call the method inside those functional interfaces like consumer, uh, supplier, predicate. The same way uh, we can call the method inside those functional interfaces using the method reference as well. Okay, so at the place of lambda expression we can uh, use the method reference to call the methods. Now method references help in simplifying lambda expression when the lambda's sole purpose is to call a method. So this is about the method reference. Now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the different type of method references available in Java 8. So here you can see the static method reference. Okay. So before going to discuss about the different type of method references, let me try to tell you how the method reference would look like. So here you can see uh, uh, at this place, you can see that we have given a syntax called class name and then double colon and then method name. So this double colon is called as a method reference and this is the notation of the method reference. With the help of that notation, you can call the method. Okay, so this is about the how, how the method reference uh, will look like and it depends upon the type of method reference that you are going to use. But you can use before the double semicolon like class name or uh, let's say the method reference or you can say the object reference. So based upon the type of method reference, you can use this or you can replace this, the first part. So here you can see we are discussing about the static method reference. So let me try to tell you what a static method reference is or how it looks like. Stat uh, references to a static method. This refers to a static method using the syntax class name and then the method reference uh, syntax and then method name. So when you are going to use the static method, then you have to provide the class name and then you have to provide the method references syntax which is double colon and then you have to provide the method that you want to access. Okay, how we are directly going to call uh, the static method using the class name with the dot notation the same way you can use the method reference to call the static method of that particular class with the class name. Okay. So, this is how the static method reference syntax would look like. You have to provide the class name, then the double semi, double colon, and then you have to provide the method that you want to access. Make sure that this method is static in nature. Okay, now uh, let me try to uh, tell you the example here. So, you can see we have the list of numbers. Okay, and in the numbers we have the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, how you can call this list of numbers how you can print this list of numbers using for each with the help of method reference and with the help of lambda expression that is what noted down below so you can see this uh, numbers dot for each and inside that for each you have to provide the consumer reference right the for each take the consumer and in the consumer we have the accept method okay so how you can uh, pass out this uh, method reference in for each where it is expecting a consumer you can see that we are just calling this system dot out and then we are uh, calling this print ln method with the help of method reference so here the system is the class out is the static variable of type print stream and print stream is also a class which contains the print ln method so with the help of this static reference 
we are calling the println method okay so this is one of the example of a static method reference okay now downside you can see at the place of this uh, static method reference we can also use the lambda expression and you already have seen that when we are going to use the for each method we have to pass a consumer reference there for each takes the consumer and inside the consumer you have one single abstract method which is accept and in, uh, you have to call that accept and this is how with the help of lambda expression we are calling that accept here okay and the lambda expression can be replaced with the above code which is the static method reference so this is a very good example of the method reference now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the other method references like instance method reference of a particular object you can say so this is a kind of instance method reference now reference to an instance method of a particular object this refers to an instance method using the syntax object reference and then double colon and then method name so with the help of object reference you can call the instance method with the help of double colon okay how we are calling the uh, instance method of a class with the help of the object of that class with the dot notation similar way you can call the method name with the help of double colon when you are going to use the object reference there so this is example of instance method reference so downside you can see we have listed out the example here you can see we have the string text and in the text we have the hello world and then we are using this functional interface which is function which taking the integer as a argument and returning a string out of that so you might already have aware that the function takes one input and give you the other output okay so in the function we have the apply method that take one input let's say it is taking the input here as a integer type and return one is output as a string so that is what we have listed out here the function input is integer type and output is string type and its reference is function or you can say fn func okay now what we are going to use is here we have the object reference which is text and with the help of object reference we are calling the substring method of that string class okay so this is the example of the instance method reference this can also be replaced like a uh, function integer string function and with the help of lambda expression you can directly call the uh, substring method using this using this uh, instance or you can say the string instance which is text here okay so this is a example of uh, instance method reference okay where with the help of instance we are calling the method inside that class now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the instance method reference of an arbitrary object of a particular type so this is also a kind of instance method reference reference to an instance method of an arbitrary object of a particular type this refers to an instance method using the syntax class name and the method name okay this is a also a example of instance method reference but here we are using the class name and then calling the method name so here you can see we have the list of a uh, string which is words and inside that we have the list of fruits like apple banana and oranges now if you want to sort out this list then with the help of method reference you can directly call the compare method of of the string okay so you can see here in the uh, second last line what we are doing is we are just using this word list which is containing the list of roots and then we want to sort it out so inside the sort method we are using the method reference to call the compare to ignore case method of the string this is also being called with the help of lambda expression which is listed down on the last line so with the help of lambda expression also you can just call this compare to ignore case method but you can use the lambda uh, method reference as well 
to call the compare to ignore method. So this is a kind of instance method, the reference of it of an arbitrary object of a particular type. Okay. Now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the constructor reference. So reference to a constructor, this refers to a constructor using the syntax called class name and new. So you can see downside, uh, we have listed down the example for it. So let's say how you try to invoke a uh, object with the help of new keyword, right? So similar way you can use the constructor reference to call the or to invoke a new object there. So downside we have listed out the example. You can see we have the supplier which is list of uh, taking list of a string and we can you can say that uh, we are just uh, trying to invoke a new list with the help of array list and uh, using the new keyword to invoke that list. You can see this uh, like supplier which is taking the list of a string and its name is list supplier and then after the equal to we have the array list and we are providing the method reference sign and then with the help of new keyword we are just trying to create a array list which can be assigned to this list of supplier okay and this this can also be uh, done with the help of lambda expression which is passing a lambda and then trying to create a new array list you can see this right at the downside so this is how you can use the constructor reference okay so let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the summary of the method references so method references are particularly useful when a lambda expression directly calls an existing method without additional logic so you just uh, try to note down this term is method references are particularly useful when a lambda expression directly calls an existing method without additional logic. So when you are going to put some logic inside that method that you are going to call, to make sure you are not going to use the method reference. This is for the simple method call. Okay, so when you are going to use some logic or when you are going to write the logic inside the method that you are going to call, make sure you are calling it with the lambda expression. It gives you some freedom to write down those logic, right? But at the place of lambda, uh, lambda expression, when you are going to replace that with the method reference, make sure that those methods that you are going to call with the method reference are the simples to use method. You are not going to put any logic there. So this is one of the difference between the lambda expression and the method reference. They make the code more readable and concise by avoiding unnecessary repetition of the code. So this is one of the advantage of lambda, uh, this method reference. They make the code more readable and concise by avoiding unnecessary repetition of the code. So this is about the method reference and now what I will do, I will go to the IntelliJ and try to create one project and practically will try to use all of this method reference example and then practical implementation will do there. Now let me try to come out of it and try to go to the IntelliJ and create one Java project there. And whatever thing we have discussed here, we'll practically try to implement them and then see the result. So let me try to come out of it and go to the IntelliJ and try to create one project here. So let me try to go to this Spring AI. And this is one of the project that I have created. Now go to the new and project and let me try to create one method reference project here. So let's say go to the new project and create a uh, the project for you, uh, let's say the project name is method reference in or you can say Java 8. Okay, and uh, just select the language is Java and uh, let's say the build system is Maven. Okay, now just create it and open it in a new tab and then wait for a few seconds. Once the necessary configuration is being done, project and start working on it. So just for a few seconds. Now what we are going to do is just let me try to create one uh, class here. Let's say uh, let's say the package we are going to create method reference. Okay, and let's say we are going to create a class call method reference 
एग्जाम्पल ओके और एग्जाम्पल से कैन से सो दिस इज द क्लाट क्लास वी हैव क्रिएटेड इयर नाउ लेट मी टेट क्रिएट द मेन मैथड इयर ओके सो वी आर गुड नाउ वट विल डू वट एवर थिंग्स वी हैव डिस्कस देयर वन बाई वन विल ट्राई टू प्रैक्टिकली इम्प्लीमेंट दम इन दिस क्लास ओके सो फॉर द स्टैटिक मैथड वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी हैव द लिस्ट ऑफ नंबर्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू use the method reference to call the println method okay using the uh, static method reference so that is what we are going to see here how we can do that so first of all let me try to create one uh, list of integers and let me try to import the list here just so either you can create a new list or what you can do you can directly write the statement like array dot as list and provide the values that you want to put in so we are going to do the same thing here so let's say it is arrays dot as list and then just put the values here so let's say we have till 5 so what we are going to do here is we are just going to keep the elements let's say till uh, 6 and 7 and 8 so we are going to put the eight elements inside this list now what we are going to do is we are just going to use the for each method of java 8 which is taking consumer as a input so you can if you go to this for each method let me try to go inside it you will see that it is expecting consumer in it and the consumer has the accept method okay so if you we'll go to the consumer functional interface you will find that it has one sam method single stack method which is accept okay and it is taking t as a argument and returning nothing so we have to do the implementation for this consumer like we have to pass the consumer inside it so either you can use the lambda expression to do so so let me try to do the lambda expression here so we are putting this t argument and then we are just printing it out here so if you run this main method you will see the statements here okay so just wait for few second we are running this for the first time that is why it is taking the time so you can see that we are getting the outputs here whatever elements are there in the list we are just simply printing it out with the help of uh, for each and inside the for each we are passing the lambda expression so at the place of the lambda expression what we can do is we can replace this whole statement lambda expression uh with the method reference okay so let me try to do that here so let's say list dot for each and at the place of lambda expression what we can do is we can just simply use the method reference or you can say the static method reference why let me try to tell you so just this is the statement let me try to run this again and before going to run that let me try to put some lines here so yeah now just run it and then see so you can see that we are able to print the uh elements with the help of method reference as well and here the method reference that we are using is a static method reference why because let me try to go inside the system class first and just search for the out so just search for the out let me try to go down and one by one i have to go just you can see here that this out is a static reference of print stream type this is a class and this is the static reference okay so here you can see that with the help of uh, like a static reference we are just calling this method which is inside the print stream okay so this is a example of static method reference okay so let me try to comment down here static method 
reference example now what you can do is uh, you can create a, a let's say class and then put a static method inside that class and directly you can uh, call that method here with the help of the class name itself okay so that that thing also you can do uh, this is this was the syntax that we have discussed here right with the help of class name you can directly call the method which is static inside that class so let me try to show you those things as well so let's say here we are going to create one uh, uh, let's say print class something like that print class print demo class and inside that class let me try to create one static method which is uh, void and it is just simply uh, try to print something print something so the method name is print uh, element something like that you can say and it is a starting method now just whatever thing we are just going to enter here the same thing it is going to print here so let's say as of now it is printing the integer that we are providing as an argument here so let's say argument and this is printing the argument now if you'll go to this class what you can do is with the help of this print demo class you can directly call the method inside it which is a static method so let me try to uh, show you those things here here as well so just first of all let me try to put one break here and let's say it is and then list dot for each and what we can do is we can directly call the static method of the print demo class so just come here print demo class and then print element and we are good now let me try to run this again and then see the results so you can see we are getting the results three times right if you'll see the first one then the breakpoint then the second one and then the breakpoint and then the third one so you can see that this is also working fine with the help of uh, the class name and then we have to provide this to colon which is a method reference and then you can directly call the static method so this is an example of a static method reference okay now what we are going to do is we are going to discuss about the uh, this one which is instance method and there is a two types right instance method reference of a particular object and then instance method reference of an arbitrary object of a particular type so let me try to use this example and try to show you the instance method uh, use okay so what we can do is uh, let's say we have the simple string as a hello world and we are going to uh, like replicate the same example here so just come out of it and let's say instance method reference demo uh, let me try to create one string let's say text and it is hello world now with the help of uh, this function functional interface we are just calling the substring with the help of uh, this uh, instance method reference okay or you can also use this lambda expression so first of all what we are going to do is we are just going to use the lambda expression okay to call the substring method and then we are just going to see how we can use the uh, this instance method reference to carry out the same work so just create the function and you know that uh, the function functional interface take two or arguments so one is the input and the second one is the output so we are providing the input as a integer and we are expecting output as a string so that is what we are expecting here and uh, let's say uh, so what we can do is we can directly uh, let me try to show you so if you'll go to this function function interface you will find this apply method which is taking t as a input and returning r as a output okay and this t and r that we have provided there is integer and string so if you'll come here you will see that 
So directly what we can do is with the help of lambda expression, we can directly do the implementation of this apply method. If you'll see here, uh, what we are doing is directly we are using the lambda expression to do the implementation of this apply method. So you can do the same thing. Okay, so this is what we are doing. And now let me try to call the apply method of the function and provide the input here. Okay, so uh, before that, let me try to put some break here. Or what we can do is uh, we can just try to comment out or don't comment it out. Let me try to put some breaks here. And saying that instance method reference demo, something like that. So put it out and we are good. Now just run this. And then if you see that we are getting the uh, output okay and the output is uh, it is like in the substring we are providing we are putting n as a argument here and the n that we are uh, putting here is or we are uh, providing n here is 7 that means it will it will try to take the world after index 7 okay so you can see that uh, we have the word hello and world okay so if you come here the h is on the index 0 e is on the index 1 l is on the index 2 then l is on the index 3 g o is on the index 4 and then we have the index 5 is space then index 6 is w after that index 7 is o and after that we are printing the whole things that means o r l d okay if you change the index here to 6 it will take w also and it will print world as a output so let me try to run this and then show you so you can see this the world we are getting here so this is the output and the implementation that we did here is the example of lambda expression how we can use the lambda expression to call those things but what we can also do is we can replace this lambda expression with the help of instance method reference as well so let me try to comment out this piece of code and let me try to call the instance method reference at the place of the uh, lambda expression so how we can do that is with the help of let's say text we can use this text as a instance okay so this text is a instance of the a string class and with the help of that what we can do is we can directly call the substring method and then see what we are getting so let me try to remove this and we are good now what we are doing is we are with the help of this function reference we are directly calling the apply method and putting out the or providing the argument here okay now let me try to run this again and then see the result we should be getting the world in the result here in the output you can see and the output is correct so you can see that with the help of uh, the instance method reference as well we can replace this lambda expression or, or you can say that this is the example of instance method reference and uh, like there could be another example of instance method reference how we have created the uh, class here and discussed about the static method reference the same way we can use the instance method reference as well so let me try to create one class here and let's say the class name is instance class instance demo class something like and here you can create one instance method let's say public void and uh, let's say print so it is going to print the thing that we are let's say we are passing the integer argument here and it is printing out the the same argument that you are passing here okay so if you'll go to this uh, class again what you can do is you can create a instance of this class and with the help of that instance 
you can call the method inside it okay so let me try to show you so what we can do is we can use this uh, same list and try to print out the list one by one with the help of this instance method reference so this is one of the example of instance method reference and now let me try to reuse the above list and try to see uh, how we can use the instance method there so come here and uh, let's say we have the list and then we can put the for each and then at the place of the system dot out printer and what we can do is we can create the instance of this instance instance demo class and with the help of that we can directly call the method inside it inside the for each so let me try to show that instance demo class and let's say instead demo class so we have the reference here instance reference or instance of that uh, instance demo class and with the help of that let me try to call the method inside it which is if we'll go there it is print right so or let me try to rename this method to the print element okay now copy this come here and just put it out so we are good now let me try to run this again and then see so we will see that we are getting the result here so this is how you can uh, use the instance method reference in Java 8. Okay, so this is one of the example of instance method reference. And uh, if we'll go there, what else we have discussed? You can see that uh, here we are discussing the instance method reference of an arbitrary object of a particular type. So you can also uh, replicate the same example that we have discussed here let me try to show you how you can do that so let's say instance method reference of an arbitrary object of particular type okay so let's say this is also an, an another example of instance method reference now here what we are going to do is we are going to create a list of fruits okay and uh, then we are going to sort it and we are just going to uh, see the result for that okay so let me try to do that so first of all just create a list of fruits let's say array dot as list and we have apple banana and orange okay and then orange we have uh -huh. and what we can do is we can sort it out so just fruits dot sort and then first we'll see how we can do the sorting with the help of lambda expression and then we can uh, uh, like try to see how we can use the instant method reference at the place of lambda expression or you can see that the users of the instance method reference or how we can use the instance method reference to sort it out so just provide the two argument here let's say s1 s2 and uh, s1 dot compare to ignore case to s2 okay so s1 dot compare to ignore case and then we have to provide the s2 here and if we'll print out the fruits or you can say the list you will see the result here or what you can do is before doing the sorting you can also print out the list of fruit here okay so what you can do is just print it like or let me try to print simply so just run it and then see the result
so here you can see we are able to see the apple banana and orange now before and after the sorting right now let me try to shuffle the list of uh, fruits here so let's say we are putting the banana first orange then and then we are just putting out the apple and then run the application and then see so you can see that before sorting it is banana orange and apple the order that we have inserted it out and after sorting it is coming as apple banana and orange so the sorting is working fine now what you can do is with the uh, with the help of instance method reference also you can do the same task and you can replace this lambda expression so just let me try to comment out this piece of code and let me try to use the instance method here okay so what you can do is you can come here you can see that this compare to ignore case method is coming from the string class so you can directly use that string class to call the method and then compare to ignore case and then see the result so just run this application again and wait for it you can see that we are getting the same result okay so this is one of the example of instance method reference now these are uh, like we have discussed about the static method reference instance method reference and then now let me try to discuss about the constructor reference here so just constructor Uh -huh. constructor constructor reference now if you come here you can see that this is one of the example of constructor reference so what we are doing here is uh, with the help of class name and then the double colon and then new this is the syntax of the constructor reference this help us in creating the new object of that particular class okay so that is what we are going to replicate here so let me try to do that so here you can see that we are just creating a empty list uh, which is like list of supplier with the help of this array list and constructor reference and the new keyword so let me try to show you how we are uh, going to achieve it out so just either you can directly copy it out come here and then paste it and uh, let me try to import the supplier here and array list as well so why it is not coming let me try to import the array list manually and then see yeah it is looking good now before going to use the constructor reference i am going to use this lambda expression to carry out the work so just pitch it out and just see uh, what we are getting inside the list okay so just you can say that the supplier is supplying us the list of a string and here what we are creating is new list of a string with the help of this array list and that is what we are just going to find out so with the help of this list of supplier uh, we can call this get method and then see what the result we are uh, like getting from it okay so the result would be list of a string right so you can create a reference for that to hold this response so let's say it is a list of a string and let's say it is response and then simply print out this response as of now it would be empty because uh, we are just invoking or you can say that we are just creating a new error list so uh, before that let me try to do some break here so sorry let's say it is 
dum.out.println and we are putting this out. Now just run this. Now you can see that uh, we are getting this empty list because we don't have anything inside the list. So what we are doing is uh, we are just creating a new array list, assigning that to the uh, this list of supplier and when we are getting this uh, list of a string out of this list of supplier, we don't have anything here, right? So that is why we are getting the empty response. But this is an example how you can initialize a, a let's say, a object or you can say the Java object inside this uh, list of, uh, so, sorry, inside this supplier, which is a list of a string. And this is the example of uh, like Lambda X, with the help of Lambda Expression, we are doing the things. But what you can do is you can also replace these things with the help of constructor reference. So in the case of constructor reference, what you have to do is you have to provide the class name and then like the class name for which you want to create the object. And then with the help of uh, this new keyword, you can create the object for that class. So let me try to. Or uh, remove this or you can say let's say comment out this piece of code and uh, let's say supplier and it is supplying us the list of a string here and let's say list supplier and then what we can do is we can provide the like we are we are going to create a object of the array list for it right so with the help of uh, constructor reference we can do that and when we are going to do the uh, when we are going to utilize the constructor reference, what we can use is we can we have to provide the uh, class name and then the new keyword. So just do that and we are good. Now if we'll run this again, still we'll get the empty list because we don't have anything inside it. But yeah, we are getting the result here. So this is the example of constructor reference. Okay. So we have discussed all the method references here in this example. And if you want me to separately cover more details uh, on this uh, method references through the practical implementation of the custom objects. So let me know. I will create a, a list of uh, custom objects like list of employees or list of student. And there we'll try to see how you can utilize this uh, static method reference instance method reference and constructor reference okay so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks